What is up, everybody, and welcome to my filling out of uh, Joe Lenardi's current bracket projection, currently where he has it at, whatever whatever it is. Um, this is me going to be filling that out. I did a reaction to it yesterday, so if you want to go and look at that. But here we are with <clears throat> me actually filling it out. And it, I, you, there will be some I will talk, like when I get to each matchup, I, I won't, I'm not going to talk in detail about all the teams because that's 68 teams. I, I just can't within our current uh, good time frame uh, for a video. But I'll, I'll talk a little bit. Um, talk a little bit here, here and there about the teams. But let's go ahead and start off here in the Midwest. He has Auburn as the number one. Well, first, these games up here. This one is Southern New Orleans. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take Southern. Does it really matter? No. But um, other than San Francisco versus Florida, not a huge fan of... Um, not a huge fan of Florida, so we're going to go ahead and go San Francisco there. Now over in the West, Gonzaga. I think Norfolk is um, is a great, great team, well above the uh, 16 seed. And for the 11, I have, in the in the closest game of these four, I, I do have Oregon winning, though. But by far, the best and re most, relevant, um, most relevant game. So now actually predicting the, um, going down, we'll go Auburn. I think we'll win... Uh, the win against Southern. I got Wake Forest beating Creighton in a very good game. Shut up, Peter. Um, Ohio State, San Francisco. What the heck? Oh, that's okay. That's still Peter. Shut up. I'm shut up. Can you not for just a minute? Ohio State, San Francisco. I like San Francisco a lot. I just don't think they're quite quite there for um, for Ohio State Villanova I'm a huge fan of them actually I'm gonna go ahead and change this I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take San Francisco just keep it short because I don't think yes yeah, eh, it doesn't matter there we go USC TCU um, I'm like I'm starting to grow on TCU but I just I don't think I think USC is just too good uh, Houston is a very good team Colorado State. I just losing confidence in Oklahoma at this point, and I've, I have a lot of confidence in Colorado State. So just the two just don't kind of work well. And then Purdue beating Cleveland State. I got Gonzaga beating a good Norfolk Norfolk State team. Loyola Chicago. Congratulations, you got ranked and then proceeded to lose after, but you'll be back. Uh, they'll be they'll be fine. I think they'll they'll do fairly well depending on where they are in the tournament. But I think they'll go ahead and beat Seton Hall. Iona, in most cases, I would take as pretty. They, they will be a pretty popular upset uh, pick. But against Illinois, I, I got to take Illinois. Um, LSU, uh, Toledo, and Ohio. Whoever wins the MAC will be very very tough game. But at full strength, I think LSU is one of the best teams in the country. So I'm gonna go ahead. And Ride with them. Then I'm going to ride with Oregon. I'm probably fairly high on Oregon, especially compared to most. Um, they, just like they were, they were, like the preseason prediction for Oregon is finally coming true. So uh, this Oregon team is very good. Um, Texas Tech. I don't even think Seattle will win their conference when it all comes down to it. Not a huge fan of either Texas or North Carolina in the long run, but I do like Texas's talent just a bit more in the way they've been able to produce with that talent just slightly ahead of North Carolina. And then UCLA beating uh, CSU Fullerton, Baylor uh, beating Colgate. I got I got BYU edging out Davidson, uh, very close match. I got UAB beating Alabama, not high on Alabama. They they drew a tough card with UAB, who's done very well um, in Conference USA this year. Then not big on Tennessee either. But I, the Chattanooga, not they haven't done much to, much impressive uh, work this year. UConn, West Virginia, a rematch of earlier, um, and at the moment I forgot who won. I think West Virginia won. Don't remember. Well, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I think West Virginia, um, Virginia. There we go. Virginia. Gosh, uh, West Virginia win this one. Wisconsin win there. I think St. Mary's will come up with a big win versus Iowa State. It'll be one of the better games I think in this first round, um, and I, I think I think St. Mary's will, uh, will beat them. 
You got Duke winning against Arkansas State. Southern Utah, a very good team. Uh, but Kansas is just, uh, if, if Southern Utah is a very good team, Kansas is a, a near perfect team. Uh, I think Miami will, um, will edge out Iowa. I got Michigan State beating a, a, a good Princeton team. I think I just don't think Princeton's quite ready for the level of competition outside of the Ivy League because it is bad. In the, in the Ivy League, it is bad. But um, Marquette, Boise State, I really want to pick Boise State, but I have to go Marquette. I, they're just... The competition they played is much better, and Boise State's been just a little too inconsistent for me um, at this time. Kentucky, not a huge fan of them, but I do think they'll win there. We've got Murray State uh, beating Xavier. Xavier could, like, obviously, as the higher seed, very well could win this. I just, I think Murray State, this is one that, uh, the sole gut prediction, I like Murray State uh, in the bracket that they're facing right now. Then Indiana, Florida State. Again, a fantastic matchup. The only problem is Indiana's just a little too consistent, inconsistent. So I'm going to have to go ahead and go Florida State there and Arizona to beat Longwood. Who, actually, no, I, I, I do think I currently they're my favorite to win their uh, conference, but it wasn't until fairly recently. Arizona, Florida State. I got to go Arizona there. I think they're a fantastic team. And then I, I'm going to go Murray State. Um, Murray State over Kentucky. Gosh. Murray State over Kentucky. I'm liking Kentucky more and more. Murray State just, to me, feels like the team that if, if they're in is an underdog team, like a double-digit underdog team in terms of seeding, that's going to make it to the Sweet 16. It's going to be them. Um, I want I want to pick Marquette here, but I think i got to go Michigan State. Michigan State there, and then Miami's just no match for Kansas. St. Mary's will give Duke some trouble in the first first half, but outside of that, don't really see much. Wisconsin's going to take care of West Virginia. Might be closer than it should be, but I do have Wisconsin winning. I got Tennessee beating UAB. Uh, UAB could be another team that does, like, plays Murray State that gets the Sweet 16, but I... Playing two SEC teams in a row is tough, even if they're not two of the best. I I, I like I like uh, Murray State to be that team. Then I got Baylor uh, beating BYU. UCLA. I'm losing. I, I'm not losing. Well, I guess I am losing a little bit of confidence in them, but I think over Texas still got them there. Texas Tech as proved by their, in their game against Kansas, is a fantastic team. They're, they are a very, very good team. And at this moment, I think they would beat Oregon. Um, maybe when it actually comes down to it, if they were to play, I would might pick Oregon. But at the moment, I, I do got to go Texas Tech there. I like LSU at, LSU at full, again, current LSU, kind of flipping it uh, from the Oregon. Current LSU, I have beating Illinois. Or no, current LSU, I have losing to Toledo. So if you, if you, if you want to go that route, then Toledo goes there. And Illinois, if you want to go that route. But um, future LSU, I got them beating Toledo. Now, and then I, I few, like full strength LSU, I have beating Illinois, but um, I guess I guess we'll go current. I guess we'll go current LSU, uh, LSU and I got Toledo winning and uh, Illinois winning. Gonzaga and Loyola Chicago. I Gonzaga is still my number one team. Uh, Auburn, just the one the one B of that, but uh, yeah, Gonzaga um, really high on them. Auburn there. Villanova over San Francisco, very good game there. I got USC over Houston. Um, Houston, uh, similar to Princeton, is going to get too used to playing the American. And not to say that Houston isn't a good team, but I, they, they're just the level of competition between the Pac-12 American is ginormous. The American's great and all, but when it really like. I don't think there's an I don't think there's any other American um, team in the tournament. To my knowledge, I think Cincinnati's the next closest. 
but um I think USC and I really like USC's length too often like Evan Mobley's been fantastic then as much as I like Colorado State I do have to go Purdue I think they're fantastic I got Purdue winning there as well then I got the first number one seed to fall I think Villanova will upset Auburn Gonzaga will beat Illinois then I got Texas Tech they didn't fit there, so it's not gonna fit. I got Texas Tech uh, beating UCLA, um, which I I think it'll be an amazing game, similar to the Kansas one. I just think Texas Tech comes out on top on that one. Um, I got Baylor beating Tennessee. Then I got Wisconsin. So that's, yeah, that's how you spell that. Wisconsin beating Duke. Mainly, well, maybe because I'm a Wisconsin fan. I, li- I do like both these teams a lot, but I, Johnny Davis, Brad Davidson, I, I get Duke has a lot of talent, but I just, I'm trust I'm putting some trust in Wisconsin here to beat Duke. Um, Kansas versus Michigan State, I got to go Kansas. I think Michigan State can give them a run for the money, but after watching that Kansas-Texas Tech game, Kansas is so good. Like they are so good, and Michigan State's fantastic as well. But Kansas, I think, just is on a different level. Then I got Arizona beating Murray State. Um, I, yeah, Murray State. I, I I don't see that happen. I don't. I like them to get this far, but definitely not any further. Then Arizona versus Kansas. I got Kansas. I think Kansas. Again, I talk about very very good team. They got that star player that you need. They got um, Christian Brown, who will just do anything for you. I, this this team is built very well. You got a solid big man in there. This team is built fantastically for uh, March Madness, in my opinion. Then, as much as I love Wisconsin, I can't pick them. To, <laughs> Baylor's just much better um, than Wisconsin is. Much more consistent, eh, for the most part. Then Gonzaga, Texas Tech, a rematch. And I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm not going Texas Tech. We're going to go to Gonzaga. Um, again, my number one team. I think they're fantastic. Um, and even with Terrence Shannon back, it's going to be a very similar, if not even bigger, um, win for Gonzaga. Then between Villanova and Purdue, I got Purdue winning. I really like Villanova. I just love the talent in Purdue. Um, that I, I just think they'll be a little bit too much for Villanova. Though, again, one of the best games in the tournament. Now, the final four. Purdue versus Kansas will be interesting. Like, there are so many ways I could foresee that going. Like... It's gonna be it. It's gonna be a fun one. It's it's gonna be a fantastic game. It's it, it'll be it'll be amazing. Uh, just every, everything you want. I gotta go Purdue though. Like my guts, my guts actually telling me both things. So I gotta go with my head logic here. Purdue has just a little bit more talent uh, than Kansas, which is really saying something because Kansas is loaded. Then Gonzaga Baylor. Rematch of last year's championship game. I think I think the the Zags get them. I I think they I think I just love this Gonzaga team so much. Then between Gonzaga and Purdue, I think if there's a team that can compete, it can match up well with Purdue's strengths. It's Gonzaga, and they just got a little bit more. I got Gonzaga winning the national championship. Um, just a quick scroll through. All this if you want to see my predictions there. But yeah, that, um, that'll that do it for this video. If you all enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and there'll be much more NCAA content coming out. And I'll see you all later. Adios.